Which side are you on? Which side are you on? Tell me which side are you on? Which side are you on? My ma cleaned home for the wealthy, scrubbed floors on her hands and knees, told me to fight for what you believe in, and education holds the key. Tell me which side are you on? Which side are you on? Tell me which side are you on? Which side are you on? They came from across the oceans, some willingly, some in chains. But together with the native people, we'll make our vision plain. Tell me which side are you on? Yeah. Which side are you on? Tell me. Which side are you on? Which side are you on? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> this is the beginning of the Coalition of Labor Union Women Tabernacle Choir. <laughs> who will make their debut at the 2019 convention. So if you love to sing, I don't care if you sing well or not, if you love to sing, then I want you to join the chorus. And we'll talk more about that later. This, this is the official president's report. I, I titled it, Fear. Which means either forget everything and run, or face everything and rise. Which one do you choose? Which side are you on? We're going to rise. And we will rise all together. And we will rise as one. So I am really deeply honored that my year started off with addressing the Women's uh, March in Washington, DC, which we're going to do again in 2019, y'all. You got the dates, right? It's in your, you got the calendar the dates on the, you see that flyer in your, in your Somebody pull the flyer out for those who didn't see it? January 19th? All right. So, uh, since the last time I saw you, I had the opportunity uh, to, well, part of that kicking off that, the year was, was, was going to New York and meet with my clue sisters in New York for African American History Month. It was a, a great occasion. The, then, uh, just about a month ago, the, when the Congressional Black Caucus had their conference, I was invited to be on a panel there to talk about women and our place at the table. The AFL-CIO, together with the Coalition Labor Union, upon our suggestion, had a town hall panel to talk about women and the vote in the midterm elections. It was live streamed from the AFL-CIO. Over 7,000 views happened when people that was sent out and live streamed to the AFL-CIO's list. 7,000 people viewed that panel. It included Liz Schuler, who was the Secretary of Treasurer of the AFL-CIO, Valerie Irvin, who was, uh, had been a, uh, a candidate for Lieutenant Governor and a former union member herself, and Alvina Ye, who is the Executive Director of APALA, Alliance for Pacific American Labor Alliance, and who's the other sister, Maggie? Bush. Bush. From League of Women Voters. That panel inspired me to think that, okay, we can do this. And then Jada said, what if we do it with young women? And I said, oh, okay. So we called up the, the Pacifica radio station, WPFW 89.3. It's on the archives. You can go listen to it. And we had two sessions. The first session, uh, and Jada moderated. Because this, again, this is the whole thing that we're, we're doing here. Is like, don't just be talking about young people. And I said, wonderful. Let's get some young. They involve them. It involves. So I said, Jada, why don't you moderate the panel? And so we found three uh, women who were willing to be on that panel. Uh, Tarn Golding from IBEW, uh, Jenilyn Soto, right, on that first one, and Jada. And then the second one was Daniel Blocker from the Poor People's Campaign. Jenilyn Soto came back again and again. And the Carol experienced it herself. I had the same thing. Being in that studio, when those young women started talking, not just about how we talk about them and how we don't give any credit, but also about what they're engaged and energized about and their visions for it. And it, I, I, was just, I was totally lifted. 
And the, front, the woman who hosts the show, the show is called Sophie's Parlor, for those of you who are going on the internet and looking for 89.3 WPFW, it's called Sophie's Parlor. And the woman who hosts that show, Helen Vic Vickness, said, God, this is so good. Let's do it again. In fact, let's do it on a monthly basis. So media committee, on a monthly basis, we're going to be doing a live tele radio broadcast of next generation women on whatever issue we pick for that particular month, whatever's hot issue. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, we also, as, as Carol mentioned before, we also, were, and, and you all know this, you were a big part of the Get Out the Vote. It wasn't until I came to DC, really, that I realized how much we, the trade union movement, are the legs of the Democratic Party. I think we are directly responsible for 50% of the people who turned out to vote, okay? I guess we just claim it. We're there and we did it. And how many of you um, participate in postcards campaigns? All right, thank you. And thank you for the ones who we got, you got sent the postcards about three days before the, the election. And again, we want to we want thank the AFL-CIO who did give us funding with a little encouragement from us to do so, uh, so that we were able to get that out to you. Um, and we want to do this again. And if you haven't done it, I, I'm, I'm going to tell you, to me, writing postcards is much more fun than knocking on doors or calling people who don't want you to talk to you on their phone. OK? And so and, I, and it's, a very, it's, a, it's an effective tool uh, to be used. It's old school, but we're handwriting stuff and saying, hey, sister, these are to union households. And because in our Constitution, we, can't, uh, we have to remain nonpartisan, can't um, commit to specific candidates. But that's something we're going to talk about, too, at a, at a later date in terms of looking at that. But that's, that was very promising. And here's, here, was the, here are the results from all of that work that we did. And we, we've taken claim for 50% of everything that happened, right? So 127 women were elected to office this time. 102 went to the Senate. 14 went, I mean, 14 went to the Senate. 102 went to the House. Nine women became governors for the first time in their state. First woman governor. 45 women of color, African American, Asian American, were elected for the first time. 37 women were elected to office for the first time, period. We have the first woman senator from Tennessee. We have, yes, we can do one, one clap, right? First woman senator from Tennessee. Two first time Native American sisters from Kansas and from New Mexico. Two first time Latina sisters from Texas. First elected New Mexico Democratic governor. First woman governor of Maine. First woman governor of South Dakota. Youngest woman elected to Congress. First Muslim women from Michigan and Minnesota. First African American woman from Congress of Massachusetts. First woman senator from Arizona to be out bisexual. Same woman. 589 women ran for office. 743 union members were elected to office. We knocked on 2.3 million doors. That's so we can claim this one. This victory is ours. We did this. It was our hard work. I think that concludes my report. Move in a second. Is there any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. Opposed? Okay, the eyes have it.